Mic Check, a show geared to hear the voices of young people in New York City. Our mission is to inform the youth on major events, protests, and political agendas that matter to us the most. their streets, your streets and mine. On June 28, 2013 marks the 9th annual March for Trans Justice in New York City, better known as the Trans Day of Action. This march calls for the historical and societal recognition for all transgender people, more specifically trans people of color. But first, what is transgender? The politically correct term for transgender defines an individual who is biologically born one sex but does not physically nor mentally identify to the assigned sex where in time they have undergone a process of transformation to live and identify as the gender they seem fit, whether it be a legal name change to using their preferred gender pronoun. However, Due to a lack of education amongst people, regardless of those in the LGBT community, there is a constant argument and stigmatization for those that are trans and experience many forms of discrimination for many years. That's why today we are here to take back the mic and support those in the trans community and their allies. Yeah. Um Today was awesome. Um, there was a lot of different organizations that spoke. Um, I'm with Streetwise and Safe, and we're a youth-driven organization, um, all LGBTQ and youth of color. And we focus on issues of policing and criminalization um, with uh, standing in solidarity. Um, and some of us, are, our experiences with youth who are homelessness or have experience in the sex trades. Um, I'm with Word Women Organized to Resist and Defend. Uh, we're out here today to show support for our transgender sisters and the transgender community. Um, we recognize that women can't be free while others are oppressed, um, which is explicitly stated on our banner. Um, so we're out here definitely to show solidarity um, and support the LGBT community. I am from Transjustice at the Audre Lorde Project, and I am here today to celebrate and fight for TGNC rights, transgender and gender non-conforming rights. We're definitely, it's, it's power points of unity, so we're trying to show solidarity between several groups like the Audre Lorde Project, the EI Network, but every, where we have our demands uh, against police brutality, against a lot of the stuff, the injustices that happen, discrimination against people of color as well. So it's kind of just like being solidarity and marching together to get our demands heard. As we described the definition of trans earlier, we now begin to define some of the key issues that surround this trans community. One of the major issues is the harassment and profiling with the NYPD, where many young trans youth of color are stopped and frisked for any incriminating evidence, such as condoms, where a young trans woman or man is accused for prostitution. Another with joblessness, where young trans youth are fired or can't obtain a job because of the discriminatory policies that are against gender identity expression. Another is the never-ending fatal brutality of trans people of color that are due simply from transphobia. Every time, and every time, you hear, you hear about young people being murdered, about young people being murdered, either by police, either by police, or by racist vigilantes, or by racist vigilantes. You have people, you have people who say, who say, okay, okay, maybe what happened there is wrong. Maybe what happened there is wrong. But you know, but you know, these youth are no good. These youth are no good. They can't be about nothing. They can't be about nothing. Well, I'm here to say, well, I'm here to say, you're wrong. You're wrong. Yes, they can. Yes, they can.
today we are here to fight for employment. We want to fight for justice for our marginalized and oppressed communities. We are here to demand housing. We are here to demand food. We are here to demand jobs. I think a lot of people, there was a lot of different demands that came out. I know um, I read the testimony of another SAS youth leader who couldn't be here today because she's graduating, um, Trina Bhutan. Um, and one of the things that um, Trina talks about in her speech, which I read, um, was the use of condoms as evidence in prostitution related cases um, in New York. And that was something that was brought up by um, other organizations as well. And I think specifically what Trina is saying in her speech is that there's um, a huge a amount of profiling that goes into trans women being sex workers, and then something like condoms is, is used as evidence of this thing, and it puts um, a trans person into a system of violence um, where they're assaulted or questioned or harassed on the street level. I mean, it's very discriminatory. Um, it doesn't recognize the transgender community. As, as people, and so their rights aren't being protected under the same law, especially the way they get treated by the NYPD, and the way people of color get treated by the NYPD, and the fact that, you know, people get detained and incarcerated in prisons with the genders that they don't respectively identify with. Uh, they want to end transphobia and, like, at least give, like, Equal bathrooms, stuff like that, like stuff that we should have as like rights. And we want to end discrimination of trans women and men in co of color. Transphobia, xenophobia, it's so many root causes, and we want to counteract those root causes and find solutions and educate the people. And what better way to educate people than to rally up those who are fully aware and understand the work made from those in the trans community and commemorate the historical and undermined achievements. Um, listen, listen, I think that whenever we are talking about being allies or standing in solidarity, it's listening to what people are saying and really coming to people without assumptions. But we can all unite and stand for one thing. Instead of being separate, we can form coalitions, maybe. And I feel like even in the queer community, like, you should not leave out the trans people as well, you know, like, we have to find solidarity amongst everyone. We have to look at it in a way that everyone's being victimized as people educating yourself by learning about the transgender and gender non-conforming population. Sensitivity training, pretty much. Stand up for us in the streets when we are walking down and somebody calls us an uh, offensive name. Stand up for us in solidarity. With the many battles that most trans people face, it seems that the media fails to acknowledge the work done by many famous trans advocates such as Audre Lord. Sylvia Rivera and Janet Mock, who has played a historical role in the trans community by providing job opportunities, schooling, and most importantly, health care for those of the trans community as well as the LGBT.